Hey guys, Sir All About Music here, and uh, today I'm going to be bringing you another album review. I didn't actually plan on doing this video, um, I had some free time today, so I decided to go ahead and do this. Um, today I'm going to be going over this right here. The Flaming Lips, that'll be, I think, um, The Flaming Lips, um, Clouds Taste Metallic. This is personally my favorite Flaming Lips album, and I, I feel that it kind of gets caught, um, it kind of gets ignored because it's caught in between transmissions from the Satellite Heart and uh, that their uh, album Zyrica. Transmissions from the Satellite Heart being known as their kind of their breakthrough album in Zyrica. If you're a Flaming Lips fan, then uh, Zyrica for you probably is a, a very interesting album as well. And uh, Clouds Taste Metallic was released in 1995, right between those two albums, and I feel that it kind of gets lost, um, but it's a really excellent, excellent album. Um, uh, this was the last album that had Ronald Jones playing guitar with him on it, and which was which is kind of unfortunate because um, if you've ever watched Fearless Freaks, um, Stephen and the rest of the band really talk about the the originality that that Ronald brought to the band. Uh, the the music on this album is is in in tune with with the the rest of the Lips stuff, but it's kind of that. This is kind of their transition album. This is, they're not as as uh, edgy in this album um, as they were in Transmissions from the Satellite Heart and things like In a, in a Priest-Driven Ambulance and Here It Is and stuff like that. Um, they, they start they start to they start to kind of branch out into what they are today the the kind of the kind of music that you hear on the Soft Bulletin or Yoshimi Battles of Pink Robots or something like that. Um, but it, it really is a great album, absolutely fantastic music. Um, really, this is going to be a really quick review. Um, favorite song on here um, for me is Psychiatric Explorations of the Fetus with Needles. I love the intro. I love Stevens Stevens um, uh, drumming on the intro with the bass and the in the snare, and it just it's kind of it kind of gives this off kilter kind of feel to the song, to an already off kilter song. Uh, the the lyrics on the song are kind of uh, interesting. Um, they they really they're really actually in line with most of what Wayne Wayne Coyne uh, writes and uh, the, the very very weird lyrics. Music's great, really raunchy raunchy guitar. Right when the when the verse breaks, you got this raunchy guitar that just slides way up the neck and just just buzzes. It's like it's. It's uh, it's it's uh, it definitely gives it a, the song a real punch. Um, worst song on this album for me is gotta be Brainville. I think it's just a corny, corny, terrible song. Um, the 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 xylophone or I th I'm pretty sure it's a xylophone or some kind of keyboard sound during the during the chorus and the the little slide part that goes. It's just. It's annoying. It's stupid. I don't like the song at all. Um, other songs of note on here um, have to be uh, "Lightning Strikes the Postman." Definitely, um, great intro riff there. Uh, very, very good. Um, this here giraffe. I love the drum beat on that song, and the bass line is awesome. Um, uh, "Evil Will Prevail." The little the the little guitar riff that goes up and then comes back down. I think yeah, that's an awesome awesome thing. Um, production on this album is um, it's it's kind of hard to explain because some of the sound is muddied. It's kind of coagulated together. It's kind of just like pushed together, but it sounds good in that respect. So the pr the production obviously is good. But the way that the album sounds, it almost sounds like the production isn't exactly up to par, but it fits with the sound of the album. Um, originality, uh, the Lips took a real turn with this album. They, they uh, like I said, they, this, was, this is kind of their transition between um, their, their punk rock days and the, the weird experimental art alternative days of uh, the Soft Bulletin and albums like that. Um, but it's very distinctly Flaming Lips music. You can definitely tell. Um, the flow of the album is really great. Uh, uh, the, all the songs fit. Um, they make sense together. 
Uh, and that's that's about it. I, I love this album. This is my favorite Flaming Lips album. I'm a huge Flaming Lips fan. Absolutely love the Flaming They're probably my favorite band. Um, and I... Uh, I've gotten I've gotten about 45 views on my last video. If you haven't watched it, um, uh, you can you can find it. I'll include a link a link in the description. Um, and I haven't gotten any feedback on it yet. So if you'd really if you'd give me some feedback either on that video or on this video, tell me what you think was wrong with it. Um, what you what you would have changed. Uh, if and also if there's a CD that you'd like me to do a review of, that would be great. And I'd I'd love to get your your uh, input on that. So shoot me a PM or leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think. And I'll see you guys next time.